लॉन्ग टर्म ट्रेनिंग प्लान फॉर ताइकोंडो अथलीट्स अथलीट्स के लिए लॉन्ग टर्म ताइकोंडो प्लान का जरूरत क्या है और उसका स्ट्रक्चर क्या होता है सो द मेन पर्पस ऑफ द लॉन्ग टर्म ताइकोंडो प्लान ये लॉन्ग टर्म ताइकोंडो प्लान का पर्पस क्या है सो वाई वी शुड वाई वाई वी शुड प्लान फॉर ए लॉन्ग टर्म ताइकोंडो प्लान द मेन अल्टीमेट गोल इज प्रोड्यूस आउटस्टैंडिंग प्लेयर्स टू द नेशन आउटस्टैंडिंग प्लेयर्स टू द नेशन एट a major level competitions like uh, olympics and asian games so that is har ek coach ka ye har ek coach ka goal rehta hai ki so olympics mein ya nahi to asian games ke ye jo players ko produce karna bol ke so for that what we are doing and what what we have to follow uh, so now we are going to explain the structure of the long term training plan iska structure kaise rehta hai so <clears throat> there are three stages first first stage is uh, talent identification and as you are seeing uh, in the uh, in the bottom of the uh, screen uh, talent identification already yesterday uh, gautam sir uh, gautam sir class liya hai so i don't want to uh, continue this uh, talent identification and next comes to the socio economic status of athlete socio economic status of athlete ka matlab ye hai ki suppose uh, what what category people we supposed to select suppose uh, uh, if if you have two types of trainees uh, like one is a rich and one is a poor so poor always okay he he will not excel in the in the sport uh, up to certain level he may excel in the sport up to certain level maybe a state level or maybe a national level for for further and he cannot he cannot move forward because because of the फाइनेंशियल कंस्टेंट्स ऑफ द फैमिली हमारा हमारा गेम तो ये थोड़ा कॉस्टली गेम है सो ईच यूनिफॉर्म इट्स कॉस्टेड ऑन टू थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड नॉट ओनली दैट इवन इन कॉम्पिटिशन लेवल इवन एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल कॉम्पिटिशन एंड यू पीपल आर नोम इवन ए डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल कॉम्पिटिशन वी यूज टू चार्ज थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंट्री फी एंड थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंट्री फी इज नॉट स्मॉल अमाउंट इट्स अ वेरी बिग अमाउंट it may be small amount to the rich rich category people and whereas it is a very big amount to the poor people and at the same time state level competitions state level competitions if you go to the state level competitions and you, if you see the structure of the state level competitions the organizers organize the competitions based on the a fee collected by the trainees competition charges uh, uh entry fee it's ca cost around 800 rupees to 1000 rupees for state level competitions and even a national level competitions it is a 1500 to 2000 2500 and there is no limit at all so a poor cannot succeed in this field because of the financial constraint and he cannot move further and at the same time jaise ki hamara niraj sir ne bataya olympic qualification and it is a very important to participate in uh, n number of competitions at uh, at the international level if you wanted to get a better ranking in the international level competitions you you supposed to participate all g1 and g2 g3 competitions if at all if you wanted to participate g1 and g2 competitions so you must need money because government will not support you for open open competitions so hence you have to pay the money for g1 and g2 national level, international competitions when you are participating at one and g2 international level competitions so that you will get a better rank so that if you get a better rank and you will get a more chances to participate at the olympic level competitions so here the socio economic status it plays a major role because because of the uh, even uh, when i was in darwad uh there the, there is there is a tribe in darwada surrounding darwada uh the race uh, is a, uh, is from a kenyan race uh, african african breed uh, they are very good in sprinters and all other uh, things but thing is even government also they uh, they provided a lot of facilities for the tribe i don't want to take the name of the tribe because since they are they are look like a negro and they doesn't want to Uh, come to the hostels uh, sports hostels uh, if the, if if at all if they if they come also they will stay there around uh, one or two years and they and then they will, they will go back because of the race uh, and they they could not able to adapt uh, and they could not able to adjust with the uh, present society and at the same time 
socio economic status suppose there there was uh, there are a lot of studies uh, uh, in socio economic status and one study uh, just i took lot of uh, lot of uh, i have gone through the lot of studies uh, so recently i took one uh, one study is uh, research work done by sujith verma and sri rajesh verma from haryana so it is clearly stated that socio economic status is a decisive factor where sports persons are feeling intuitively compelled to select sports disciplines based on a relative factor of their socio economic status but aptitude iska matlab hai ki sports selection ye jo selections hai suppose if you are a poor and you are interested in cricket and you you uh, and the desire will be remain like a desire only and you cannot fulfill the desire because a cricket is an expensive game and for, from the uh, right from the beginning stage and you have to buy uh, you have to buy bats uh, protective equipment and coaching fees yes, everything and your financial status will not cope up so here the sports persons in india according to their financial status they are selecting the field instead of their will agar un log ko ichha hai cricket khelne ka lekin agar un log ke paas agar paisa nahi hai automatically they will they will, uh, they will choose the uh, sport which is suitable for their financial needs which is suitable their financial status so this is happening in india and let us see the socio economic status of the player if it is a low socio economic group and there is a difference and high socio economic group in low socio economic group the inferiority will be more and whereas high high socio economic group the inferiority is no inferiority it is very less inferiority and the family gives a priority to the low expensive sports paisa nahi hai kya karega जो सस्ता में मिलेगा वही लेना पड़ेगा जो एक्सपेंसिव नहीं है वही खेलना पड़ेगा बट वेर एज हाई सोशल इकोनॉमिक ग्रुप एज पर देर इंडिविजुअल विल उन लोग को जो इच्छा है ठीक है वही गेम खेलेगा सपोज इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू इफ वॉन्ट टू बिकम ए वेरी गुड शूटर राइफल शूटर एंड शूटिंग इज ऑल्सो इट्स एन एक्सपेंसिव गेम एंड टेनिस इज ऑल्सो एन एक्सपेंसिव गेम इवन ए शटल ऑल्सो इट इज एन एक्सपेंसिव गेम and third point gives priority to the education uh, rather than sports after certain level of achievements you may be a, you, you may be in sports but after certain level parents bolta hai ki beta padhai kar lena agar padhai nahi to zindagi nahi hai agar acha padhai karo acha job milega because their main intention is to safeguard their life and to settle in the life whereas in high exp- high uh, socio economic group a choice depends on the individual and parents even in high socio economic groups also majority of the parents they may uh, they may support or they may not support because high socio economic groups so people are uh, people are coming from uh, uh, very big families uh, and uh, corporate sectors uh, business people so businessmen ka ye mind सेट ऐसा रहता है कि बेटा ये देख लेना मेरे बिजनेस आप देख आप देखना पड़ेगा अरे यार स्पोर्ट्स में क्या आएगा तुम्हारे को ठीक है स्पोर्ट्स छोड़ देना बिजनेस देख लेना सो एंड हियर आल्सो इफ द प्लेयर इज इंटरेस्टेड इवन पेरेंट्स आर सो ओके दे कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग एंड वेयर एज इन फोर्थ पॉइंट ऑलवेज इन हरी टू सेटल इन लाइफ बाय गेटिंग अ जॉब ए लो इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस ये जो ग्रुप है जैसे कि 18 साल 19 साल 20 साल के बाद तुरंत है ना लोग कुछ ना कुछ जॉब में लग जाएगा सर पुलिस कांस्टेबल या नहीं तो आर्मी में और वट एवर द जॉब इज अवेलेबल इमीडिएटली दे वॉन्ट टू सेटल इन देर लाइफ बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटस वेर एज हाई सोशियो इकोनॉमिक ग्रुप दे फॉलो देयर पैशन बिकॉज मनी इज नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम फॉर देम एंड दे विल कंटिन्यू द स्पोर्ट्स कैरियर अंटिल दे रीच द गोल अल्टीमेट गोल एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द एथलीट्स एक्सपेक्ट सिक्योरिटी टू द स्पोर्ट्स सो so, ये तो ये ना सारे से सारे हमारा प्लेयर्स को यही है कि स्पोर्ट्स का पेरेंट्स भी पूछता है कि आप स्पोर्ट्स में क्या आएगा क्या मिलेगा आपको क्या कुछ जॉब मिलेगा सो दे वॉन्ट सिक्योर लाइफ थ्रू स्पोर्ट्स एंड हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर देयर इंस्टेड ऑफ जॉब्स ओके एनी एनी एलिट लेवल एथलीट्स ओके दे कैन बिकम ए 
uh, trainers, fitness trainers, and gym gym trainers. There are a lot of opportunities are there. But whereas the parents, as as far as the parents concerned, they want only job, government job. Government means it's a secured job. But whereas a high social economic group, there should not be any hurry, and uh, do the sports for recognition, fame in the society. Society may un loko kya chahiye. Society may un loko naam chahiye, fame chahiye. so they want to become a celebrity uh, to the sport so since okay uh, since uh, there is no financial problems they will continue the sports and at the same time and next point a certain level quits sports without achieving major goals so talent acha hai and physical quality is also good but after certain level low economic group they will quit the sports because uh, to settle to settle their life in some other jobs i have a personal experience uh, uh, in my center i train many uh, many athletes uh, those who are having a very good physical qualities uh, uh, very very good height uh, feet everything after completion of 10 class or plus 2 intermediate plus 2 pu and they used to quit the uh, center uh, because uh, सर मम्मी बोल रहे कि पढ़ाई में ध्यान दे सर पापा बोल रहे कि पढ़ाई इधर अच्छा है तुम हॉस्टल में ठीक से पढ़ाई नहीं कर रहे इवन आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ केसेस इवन दे क्विट द इवन आफ्टर क्विटिंग द सेंटर आल्सो क्विटिंग द हॉस्टल आल्सो दे प्लेड नेशनल्स दे प्लेड नेशनल लेवल मेडल्स सो इफ दे आर इफ दे वुड हैव बीन इन द हॉस्टल सो Okay, we can we can we can guess that okay, they may reach at least international level, but whereas in a high socio economic group, majority of the athletes continue sports journey till achieving big big goals. So उन लोगों को ये passion है कि okay ultimately ना कुछ ना कुछ हम करके दिखाना है major level competitions में Olympics जाना है like Abhinav Bindra okay we can we can take the example of Abhinav Bindra so. uh he became a olympic gold medalist and be before getting a uh, gold medalist okay he went abroad and uh, he played uh, uh, he, uh, he was he was under he was under foreign uh, foreign coaching he spent his own money because it's a passion a uh, shooting is a passion and he wants to, he wants to show he wants to prove himself in the uh, in the field of shooting and uh, low economic group a uh, lost point uh, Can't afford to participate in open or ranking tournaments, which is uh, which is very uh, very important. Uh, if you wanted to become a very good player, competing in open competitions. Suppose if you wanted to become a, a medalist in the uh, national level competitions uh, before uh, uh, before uh, before entering into the uh, national level competitions, you you have to get a n number of expo exposes. Uh, Like open national competitions, yearly ones. Okay, if you participate yearly ones, if you have 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 तो पैसा का कुछ टेंशन ही नहीं है देन ओके दे आर रेडी टू पार्टिसिपेट ग्रैंड प्रिक्स जी वन जी टू सो वट एवर द कॉम्पिटिशन बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सपोजर दे विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सपोजर गेट लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस बेस्ड ऑन दिस एक्सपीरियंस दे विल विन द मेडल सेट कॉम्पिटिशन लाइक एशियन गेम्स एंड मेजर कॉम्पिटिशन सपोज इफ इट इज ए नेशनल लेवल Uh, federation federation competitions if it is international asian games or commonwealth games or whatever it is and next uh, it is a uh, step by step uh, process uh, to achieve ultimate goal agar goal agar achieve karna hai iska process kya hai this is called uh, long term uh, long term training plan so in this training plan there are there are total five steps are five stages are there and each and every stage is very important uh, very important suppose uh, if you start uh, the basic training in usually we used to call it is a rough coordination stage a rough coordination stage in, in the sense uh, players 
uh, they play according to their will, uh, their, their wish, and uh, uh, the perfection is very less. So, in basic training stage, uh, what are all the points we supposed to uh, consider? Points. Uh, this is the first stage of the uh, long term training. So, suppose if a little baby comes to you, and you cannot expect immediate result. This year, or the next year, to become a national champion, banana, it is very difficult. If the child is around a six to or a six to ten years of age. And you can you, you cannot develop all the qualities late night. एक रात में या नहीं तो एक एक मंथ में ये एक दिन में ना आपको उसका ये जो बच्चा का qualities है physical qualities, speed, strength, endurance, tactics, techniques. Okay, you cannot improve late night or you cannot improve within a period of one year. So it requires a long term plan. It may takes a place. एट द एज ऑफ सिक्स टू टेन ईयर्स अगर छः साल के बच्चे से लेकर दस साल के बच्चे में एक ग्रुप में आता है एंड इवन इन कल भी गौतम सार ने हमको बताया कि टैलेंट आइडेंटिफिकेशन आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ आवर कोचेस स्पेशली दो वर्किंग इन अकाडमीज साई और स्टेट लेवल अकाडमीज एंड वी आर डूइंग टैलेंट आइडेंटिफिकेशन और टैलेंट सेलेक्शन सेलेक्शन एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन देर इज ए क्वाइट डिफरेंस टैलेंट सेलेक्शन इज डिफरेंट एंड वेर इज टैलेंट आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज डिफरेंट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कोचेस वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर डूइंग टैलेंट सेलेक्शन टैलेंट सेलेक्शन का मतलब है कि मैं आपको एक छोटे से एग्जाम्पल में बताता हूँ सपोज अगर इफ देर इज एनी रेस हॉर्स रेस हॉर्स रेस में अगर आप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चूज हॉर्स कौन जीतेगा बोल के जो आगे दौड़ देगा उसी के ऊपर है ना पैसा डालेगा दट इज कॉल्ड टैलेंट सेलेक्शन ऑलरेडी इट्स ए प्रोवेन क्वालिटीज आर देयर सो इट इज ऑलरेडी डूइंग अ बेस्ट एंड देन वी यूज टू सेलेक्ट दैट हॉर्स इट इज सिंपल सो इट इज इट इज कॉल्ड टैलेंट सेलेक्शन एंड वेर एज अ टैलेंट आइडेंटिफिकेशन एज इट एज इट वॉज टोल्ड बाई गौतम सर रेस्टेड एयर it is a lot a lot of uh, process is there and uh, natural process and uh, it is a debatable uh, debatable uh, subject talent identification and whereas uh, even a talent identif identification ka matlab ye hai ki hum agar ek chote se bacche ko leke suppose if a, if a trainee comes at you at the age of 6 years and you have to set a goal for him around after 10 years or 11 years ke baad at the age of 18 what he will be so uh, that that type of uh, focus must be on uh, on a small child so talent identification mein ye ye hi hota hai ki suppose agar bacche ke paas agar basic quality such hai theek hai to then we have to start the uh, training in a uh, moderate uh, in a slow pace so in this stage a basic training stage uh, the main important the main focusing point is uh, overall physical development and creating interest towards taekwondo is the main goal at this stage so jo bacche aata hai suppose taekwondo to get discipline rana agar master master bole to strike stiff rana so these rules and regulations are not for the beginners not for the children because children always they want to play at their own will children always they always uh, they they want to play with fun so strict rules and regulations must not impose at this stage ye stage mein bachchon ke bachchon ke upar itna zyada pressure nahi dalna hai ki strict aap ye rana aise rana ye karna hoga idhar bike udhar bike okay these all are the okay the, you should not follow this so uh, overall physical development and creating interest towards taekwondo is the main goal at this stage agar ek bar agar bachcha agar aapke paas aata hai ek bar agar ek chote se bachcha agar aapke paas aata hai so it is your responsibility that you create such a environment that and you create such a uh, such a feel that okay the student always wants to come to the class again and again so it is the responsibility of the coach those who are handling the children as it teaching fundamentals in easy and understandable manner 
इस इस एज में इस ट्रेनिंग स्टेज में सो यू कैन नॉट गो फॉर वेरी बिग एडवांस टेक्निक्स एंड ऑल इवन अ टीचिंग आल्सो इट शुड बी अंडरस्टैंडेबल मैनर एंड यू कैन नॉट टीच इन अ डिफिकल्ट मैनर if if at all if it is possible part by part method so very simple ab bachche jo bhi karne do ha bhai ha beta theek kiya aapne theek kiya tareef karna hai to appreciation always it takes a major role in this in this stage always you have to appreciate the child whatever effort he puts maybe it is a wrong technique or you have to appreciate him and and tell him so if you do like this it will be better yeah you are doing good and and at the same time you can if you do like this it will be better but beta aap acha kar rahe aur aur thoda isko ye tarike mein kare to aur thoda acha karta hai so that they will be motivated and always okay they never they, they never stop taekwondo training so basic training stage it takes around it lasts around 1 to 2 years or more because uh, if base is good and we can construct a very good building and we cannot construct a building without a proper base so like that even in a sports also the base training the basic training is very important so it takes around 1 to 2 years and here the coaches uh, uh, what what we uh, what we used to do especially those are uh, private coaches they will teach all the techniques first day single punch second day double punch third day triple punch and one month is over basic up chagi second month kicking so everything if there is a perfection or perfect uh, if it is a correct or not okay that that doesn't want to care but if you don't teach the basic properly at this stage if basic is not good and the player will not continue the taekwondo in further so it takes around 1 to 2 years or more depending on the athlete response to the training abhi na kai kai bacche log hai so they are very fast learners if you teach one or twice one or twice okay they will they, uh, they will catch the point and they will start doing it and some other slow learners and you have to teach them slowly humbly okay repeatedly so they will they, they will learn after 10 times if you uh, if you if you, ta- if you tell them after 10 times okay they will catch the point and in in this stage a play method is the best effective at this stage so isme ye group mein ye 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 stage mein play method zyada se zyada bachchon ko khelne ke liye chhod dena matlab as a training very uh, very less a specific training is very less and you you allow them to play a uh, different different types of games uh, maybe uh, maybe it's a ball type of games uh, football whatever it is uh, some agility workouts so ask them to play a different different n number of games or indoor games you have to design indoor games that such that okay uh, they have to attract to the games and next uh, less explanation and more practical main pehle hi bataya tha un logo ko na jyada se jyada explanation bahut kam karna hai agar suppose agar aap chagi sikha rahe so you you need not to tell about the uh, biomechanics of the apchagi and you need not to tell about the uh, um, uh, force of application of the force these all are na un logo hai na un logo nahi chahiye at this stage they will learn and they will enjoy if they are lifting the leg they will enjoy even you also suppose if it is apchagi technique if they le- if they lift the leg okay just taali bajao ha beta bahut acha kiya so explanation must be very less and it should be a more practical so very less attention towards a technical training technical training ke bare mein un log ko zyada se zyada dhyan nahi dena so very less attention so because at this stage if you if you teach them dalyo uh, chagi they may not they may not kick properly so what you have to do is at this stage what is the need uh, uh, what are all the techniques okay, you required to the to teach dolyo chagi what are all the muscle groups are involved in dolyo chagi that you have to you have to know and to improve that uh, strength of that muscle group you have to design certain drills and you make them to do the drills that is enough at this stage and <coughs> sorry 
advanced basic training stage. So this is almost it is like a first stage and a little better better than the first stage. So in even in this advanced ad, uh, advanced basic training stage also, children overall physical development is still an important task in this stage. In this stage, my overall physical development and जैसे कि फर्स्ट स्टेज में जैसे जैसे हमने डिस्कस किया है द मेन फोकस इज ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट ओवरऑल फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क एंड मे इंट्रोड्यूस अ स्पेसिफिक फिटनेस बट नॉट ऑफ एन इसका मतलब है कि ये जो स्पेसिफिक फिटनेस है स्पेसिफिक फिटनेस को धीरे धीरे थोड़ा हम इंट्रोड्यूस करना है लेकिन इसको लगातार रेगुलर नहीं करना है कभी कभी सो सो दट people uh, children will enjoy the workout and create more interest towards taekwondo game so to create more interest suppose if you, if you are teaching uh, the lyo chege technique straight away if you show them they cannot perform straight away if you show the lyo chege technique they cannot perform so what you have to do is niha action and then balancing so there are stages step by step method so if they get knee high knee high and balancing they feel very happy and it should be uh, encourageable for them and next uh, should not force the athlete to master the techniques is stage mein aap is nahi ki aap dole chakti se nahi kar raha ye ye karo aisa karo aise rehna hai so and you could you cannot force them uh, force them okay to do a perfectly 100% perfectly because perfection will not uh, will not appear in this stage isi stage mein perfection milna thoda mushkil hai so a design a basic or a simple competitive exercises iska matlab hai ki competition mein jo jo drills rehta hai so that drills we we supposed to design because uh, like in competition footwork one step forward one step backward or two new step two step forward two step backward and with partners suppose if you take two partners okay one partner okay he will one step forward and other partner will take one step backward it is like a, it improves even a, a specific coordination also so such drills uh, if if you design such type of drills automatically children will get uh, attracted towards a game and they will not leave the taekwondo and next uh, specialized in basic training stage so even in sports training we used to say there are uh, three stages one is a rough coordination stage and second one is a um, adaptation stage and the third one is uh, automatization stage so this is like adaptation stage so in specialized basic training stage a development of physical fitness and load tolerance capacity improves so isi stage mein load tolerance matlab un logo ko aur thoda jyada load dena padega so that okay they all uh, they already tried they already okay they are in the position uh, to do the techniques and even in this stage okay you have to improve little bit load so that the trainees they will come to know what purpose the coach is giving a load because already the, uh, they cross the two stages stage 1 and stage 2 this is third stage because they know they know the, the the direction in which direction they are going they know the purpose of the training what what for the coach is giving a training so this is a stage a load tolerance capacity improves and the creation of a basic foundation of taekwondo specific skills so basic ye to basic uh, uh, taekwondo skills ye jo skills hai so you have to create a specific skills a, not general skills it's a specific game related skills like uh, attacking counter attacking so attack defense attack defense and attack so these all are the uh, basic uh, basic specific skills and next uh, mastery of fundamental taekwondo techniques so and at this stage and you can demand the trainee 
to get perfection in techniques. So at this stage, you can you, you can you can demand the trainee uh, to get a perfection because uh, and you, you 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 can you can put a load and you can uh, stress the trainee uh, to be perfect in the techniques. Adopts individual game style and this is the age they used to follow. They this is the age they used to follow uh, their own style of game. They want to uh, they want to they want to show their own style of game. So that uh, they want uh, special recognition in the team. So next, uh, improvement of uh, general and specific skills are important at this stage. Both the general general skills and the specific skills. So we have to focus on both the uh, general and specific skills. Next, uh, <clears throat> intensity of the training it in slowly it increases. Case they already low tolerance stage stage So the intensity we have to increase the intensity of the training intensity of the training increases and a tactical training increases compared to the previous stages a tactical training there is a difference between a technical training and a tactical training and at this stage tactical training increases when compared to the previous two stages a tactical training it it increases next planning becomes more specific and comprehensive अगर इस ये ये स्टेज में प्लानिंग करना मतलब एनुअल प्लानिंग एनुअल प्लानिंग जो भी माइक्रो साइकिल मैसो साइकिल जो भी है सो इट्स अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट्स अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट आल्सो एंड वी हैव टू डिजाइन प्लानिंग मे बी सिंगल पीरियडाइजेशन इज एक्सेप्टेड एंड एट एट दिस स्टेज इवन डबल पीरियडाइजेशन आल्सो इज एक्सेप्टेड एट दिस स्टेज बिकॉज़ अ सिंगल पीरियडाइजेशन मींस yearly one competition we will plan for the adrit for uh, one competition per annum and double periodization means uh, uh, we have to plan for two major competitions in a year and uh, yeah next coming point uh, single and double periodization is optimally at this stage so single periodization and double periodization is where uh, uh, we can we can plan for single and double periodization and motivation and psychological balance are required so at this stage because since the load is increasing since the intensity of the training is increasing so they must need a motivation and at the same time a psychological balance they must need a motivation and psychological because suppose agar load jyada ho gaya so at this stage people students they may think that are yaar thoda bahut load de raha hai ये नहीं तो क्यों करना है इतना इतना रिस्क क्यों लेना है वाई शुड वी सच लोड बोल के कई लोग छोड़ सकता है सो इसी स्टेज में मोटिवेशन मोटिवेशन देर आर अगेन टू टाइप्स ऑफ मोटिवेशन एज यू पीपल इंटेंसिव मोटिवेशन एंड एक्सेंट्रिक मोटिवेशन एक्सेंट्रिक सपोज अगर बच्चे को पास अगर इंटरनल मोटिवेशन है सेल्फ मोटिवेशन सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड है सो ही नी नॉट टू ही नी नॉट टू वरी suppose if he doesn't have any inter, uh, self motivation uh, eccentric motivation plays a major role eccentric motivation like uh, suppose uh, parents or coaches uh, they may they may offer uh, they may give uh, external motivation suppose beta aap national mein medal maro aapko ek mobile kharidega international jao aapko ek bike kharidega so these are all comes under external motivation and psychological balance psychological balance it takes a major role because uh, the age is as age is growing a uh, lot of friendships uh, are, uh, even uh, as as kal lena naya naya gadgets hai uh, so mobile phones uh, laptops a uh, lot of games a uh, uh, lot of uh, social media facebook instagram so at this stage a uh, psychological balance we have, we we always we guide them the priorities which uh, which one uh, which one is very important whether a social uh, social media is important or a regular training is important kyunki see even uh, uh, even hostels uh, what is uh, happening uh, night with the children uh, they used to uh, they used to play games up to 11 o'clock 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock and they'll sleep next day morning 6 o'clock they will not come and if they come also they will say sir today is i am not feeling well so here the imbalance of the uh, psychological imbalance the priority un logo ko ye malo na hai ki priority kisko dena hai 
मोबाइल मोबाइल में गेम खेलने के लिए खेलने के लिए देना या नहीं तो मॉर्निंग प्रैक्टिस करने के लिए देना सो दिस स्टेज वी सपोज टू वी गाइड देम एंड वी वी फोकस वी शुड टेल देम द मेन गोल ऑफ स्टेइंग इन द हॉस्टल और द मेन गोल ऑफ प्लेइंग द गेम नेक्स्ट this is a crucial stage in athlete training stage because uh, this peak performance stage is uh, next stage uh, peak performance stage this is a crucial stage in athlete training stage because player may reach top form or get over trend uh, reaching peak performance so hamesha ek this is a very uh, very difficult uh, to plan for peak performance because uh, sometimes uh, the player may reach to the optimum level or the player may may go to the over trained level because if they reach to the over trained level always uh, there should be a decrease in the performance and important points at this stage is adaptation to biorhythms adaptation to the biorhythms biorhythms ka matlab hai ki suppose agar aap uh, early morning agar प्रैक्टिस के बाद अगर नौ साढ़े आठ बजे आपको ब्रेकफास्ट करना आदत है सो इफ यू अडॉप्ट सच रिदम सो हमेशा आपको साढ़े आठ बजे ठीक साढ़े आठ बजे आपको भूख लगेगा सपोज इफ यू हैव हैबिट ऑफ इफ यू मेड एन हैबिट ऑफ गोइंग टू द बेड एट नाइन ओ क्लॉक नौ बजे ठीक नौ बजे आपको नींद आएगा इफ यू अडॉप्ट सच हैबिट वेक अप एट मॉर्निंग अर्ली मॉर्निंग एट फोर थर्टी आर फाइव ओ क्लॉक आप किधर भी रहो सो अर्ली मॉर्निंग फोर थर्टी और फाइव ओ क्लॉक अपना अपने आप में सो दीज आर ऑल कॉल दी बायो बायो रिदम्स बायो रिदम्स इट्स अ वेरी बिग टॉपिक वेरी बिग सब्जेक्ट एंड सीजनल सीजनल रिदम्स ऑल्सो बायो रिदम्स एनुअल एनुअल बायो रिदम्स वीकली बायो रिदम्स यू हैव टू एडाप्ट बिकॉज समर सीजन इफ द समर इज कमिंग बॉडी ऑटोमेटिकली इट एडजस्ट टू दी by rhythms of the summer season if winter is coming almost body also it adjust to the by rhythms according to the winter season so like that even a sports person also as you know if the training is if the training uh, period is if it is a competitive period a competitive period mein kya diet lena hai kaise rehna agar suppose agar ek ek systematically agar aapka body ko agar uh, train kiya automatically that rhythms that rhythms by rhythms adapts by the body and it helps you in the major level competitions <clears throat> excuse me next <clears throat> sorry next uh, achieving fine quality in technical and tactical so this is uh, when when you reach to the peak performance stage your motor quality should be uh in a fine quality you must have a fine quality motor qualities because uh, even a small correction uh, suppose if you are executing the lechegi technique uh, now here the biomechanics the sport science okay it works it works a lot at this stage if you wanted to if you wanted to reach peak without sport science background without support of the sport science and we cannot reach the peak biomechanics so it it, it plays a major role even a technical qualities and technical qualities even a small mistake if there is a small mistake in technical uh, execution of the technique you have to rectify it at this stage otherwise you cannot reach to the optimum level you cannot reach to the peak position and development of optimal physiological state so physiological state your view to max the load uh, load tolerance capacity so this all all comes under uh, physiological as accept mm, so you must you must you must reach to the optimal level of a physiological state next a very important to take part in more number of competitions both in domestic and abroad so if at all if you wanted to participate at uh, international level competitions if you wanted to get uh, uh, more experience it is always uh, better to compete uh, n number of competitions suppose within india you have to participate the open open national level competitions uh, wherever the competition is uh, going on okay you have to participate so that you will get a lot of experience uh, because of the experience okay, you can win the you can win at the major competitions and main competitions suppose open national competitions uh, 
uh, nowadays uh, every month there will be one open national competitions if uh, if you participate regularly and in a selective competitions so because of that experience okay you can win the medals at a major competitions and main competitions like uh, uh, federation organized national level competition the same way at international level also wherever the jeevan competitions are going on you have to participate because if you get a gold medal you will get points uh, world ranking so if you get a better rank it is always uh, it is always a be better to have a, uh, uh, if you get a better rank so you will be in the top position in ranking next uh, peak performance stage uh, for tactical preparation the player must study the tactics adopted by opponent so if you want to do to be a top in the tac tactics first of all you have to learn you and you have to study the tactics which is adopted by your opponent aapka opponent ka main tactics kya hai usko kaise neutral karna hai so if you don't have the capacity to study the tactics of your opponent and you cannot you cannot become a champion so at this stage you must study one must study the tactics adopted by the opponent opponent ka tactics ko study karna hai usko kaise neutralize karna hai and find the proper solution for neutralizing wo tactics ko wo strong point ko hum weak karna hai neutralize karna matlab uska strong jo strong point hai usko weak karna hai and then we prepare for a counter attack for that neutralizing the uh, once again Uh, for tactical preparation the player must study the tactics adopted by opponent finding the proper solution for neutralizing the opponent's tactics and implementation of the counter attack so agar opponent ka tactics jo tactics hai usko aapne weak kar diya uske baad aap kya karna hai uska counter attack usko bad turant aap kya karna hai neutral neutral kar diya uske baad aapne kuch nahi kiya it is of no use once the tactics if you break the tactics of your opponent and immediately there should be a follow through and there should be a follow counter attack from your side so that then only okay you will win the competition next maintenance of peak performance so this is a very very difficult uh, uh, it is one of the crucial uh, uh, crucial point peak performance mein lane ke liye aap kitna mehnat kar rahe hai So, उससे भी ज्यादा मेहनत करना पड़ेगा वो परफॉर्मेंस को मेंटेन करने के लिए सो द एफोर्ट ओके यू एफोर्ट टू रीच द पीक परफॉर्मेंस एंड इट इज यू हैव टू पुट मोर एफोर्ट टू मेंटेन दी पीक परफॉर्मेंस सो द पीक परफॉर्मेंस इट्स प्योरली इंडिविजुअल ट्रेनिंग सो पीक परफॉर्मेंस में वंस इफ यू रीच टू द पीक परफॉर्मेंस Uh, the coach must understand that the training must be individual and you cannot you cannot train the a top class athlete with the local athletes so top class athlete ke ye jo planning hai planning there should be a, a different planning so without a proper and individual planning and you cannot continue the peak performance the quality of training is required so that is what i'm um, telling you uh, uh, quality of the training iska matlab hai ki har har cheez mein suppose if it is a strength training what are the lacking in the strength training strength training mein iska kya kya muscle group mein iska weak weak hai kya kya muscle group mein isko imbalance hai so both uh, uh strength training uh, what, what are all physical qualities and even you have uh, you have to look after all the physical qualities of the athlete at this stage a rectification of a, even a small weak point in different conditions so small weak points matlab kabhi kabhi chote se galti hai lekin it makes a very very big difference in competitions galti to chota hoga lekin jab waqt aayega so it become a very big uh, problem because uh, certain times uh, even in competition major competitions the technique uh, the execution of the technique if it is wrong certain times okay we may not lose the points so even a small mistake also even if it is a small weak point also we have to take care of 
of the mistakes and we have to rectify the mistakes at this stage and uh, tactical maturity depends mostly on competitive experience of the athlete becomes uh, one of the vital factors in the maintenance of the performance is me so this is what i told uh, just now tactical performance so how to improve a tactical performance the simple uh, logic is you have to participate in n number of competitions so the main exposure competitor exposure will will make you a champion so it improves your tactics if you if you are keep on practicing if you keep on participating in n number of competitions so the tactical the thinking level of tactical thinking level it it improves and main and uh, proper load rest intervals nutrition and rehabilitation will play a key role at this stage so load is a stage mein to load to rahega rahega and at the same time and load a proper load kab load dena hai kab recovery dena hai recovery kitna dena hai kitne ghante recovery dena hai ya nahi to kitne din recovery dena what are the recovery methods rest intervals and at the same time nutrition proper nutrition so without proper nutrition and we cannot uh, uh, the energy levels so we cannot maintain the energy levels and more focus on tactical workouts so isme ye stage mein zyada se zyada tactical workouts mein zyada se zyada hum dhyan dena padega and introduction of additional means introduction of additional means ka matlab ye hai ki uh, suppose if keep on if they are keep on practicing only taekwondo only taekwondo only taekwondo so uh, the, the time will come okay they will get bored and uh, it may leads to the uh, over trying and it may leads to the <clears throat> decrease in the performance so one example one example i'll tell you uh pulele go pitch in the, when he won uh, all england championship uh, 2001 i think so 2001 uh, just before the competition uh pulel gopichan's coach uh, ganguly ganguly prasad sir okay uh, sometimes he used to allow him to participate and to uh, to learn taekwondo also few days uh, i think uh, gautam sir gautam sir uh, might have know it um sometimes okay pulel gopichan used to come to the taekwondo training hall and used to practice taekwondo just before going to the competition all england championship uh, all england open competition so because here and uh, once I, uh, I i got an opportunity to talk uh, ganguly sir and uh, i told uh, i asked him and what is the reason behind it and he told uh, just uh, to avoid the monotonous agar regular agar batsman hai sirf badminton khel rahe hai so dimag mein na usko thoda thoda monotonous aayega just to avoid the monotonous and at the same time even in taekwondo also there are a lot of uh, our specific uh, exercises okay it improves a lot of muscles as the suppose the kicking part if you are lifting the knee always okay your hip flexors will work whereas in badminton the hip flexors will not work they they, they will not they will uh, they will not go for the strengthening of the hip flexors but whereas in taekwondo all the knee actions okay it related to the hip flexors strengthening of the hip flexors and if you are punching always it related to the core muscles core core, uh, core muscles have to uh, work the strengthening of the core but people will think that pulelu go pitch in this practicing taekwondo unnecessarily but it is it is not like that so that is the reason even we also certain times introduction of additional means we used to allow the trainees to go for other games other games which are uh, uh, which are suitable to develop certain qualities which our players are required jo hamara players ko jo jo qualities uh, chahiye agar wo qualities agar dusra game mein hai to so we can allow them to participate but certain period not regularly and lastly principle of gradual progress of training load is extremely important in long term training program so ye jo load uh, when uh, when comes to the load pattern the principle of a gradual progressive loading iska matlab hai ki load hamesha thoda thoda zyada zyada karte rehna so when you keep on 
increasing the load automatically the performance also that is why principle of a gradual progression as i said that okay as 10 km 10 km bagaya theek hai kal 11 km parso 12 km no it is not like there should be a proper a progression in the loading then only in this stage this is the maintenance of the peak performance the principle of progression progressive training load this is very important i'll tell you in this stage one example uh, you might have know about uh, milo 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 he was a cobbler uh, uh, he used to go to the uh, go, go to uh, fields uh, with the buffaloes so one day there was a calf a small buffalo so it was born uh, in the play, uh, in the field kheth mein paida hua so unhone wo usko haath se utha ke leke aaya ghar ko leke aaya so again when he go to the next day when he go to the field kheth mein jaate samay usko na same haath mein leke leke ja raha tha fir kheth se fir aate samay leke aa raha tha so jaise day by day the weight of the calf is improving ye jo bachcha hai bachche ka weight badh raha hai fir bhi na ye na ye haath se utha ke le gaya this is uh, uh, this is what we can say is the principle of uh, uh, progressive improve, uh, progressive loading so after certain days ye jo buffalo ka bachcha hai wo na badh gaya fir bhi na ye na haath se utha ke le gaya na leke jana so the way he developed the strength uh, uh it is uh, miracle that is the reason always load must be in a progressive manner so this is the uh, end of my session i hope uh, i covered uh, uh, all the all the topics uh, uh, thank you very much thank you vital sir now the question answer session if anyone have any questions please directly ask to the resource person through chat box Well, sir please check the chat box i think uh, no questions so i i don't receive any uh, is, uh, right now uh, uh, hello sir vital sir yeah balu uh, there is a question i think they are now sending to our chat box person now you can also watch maybe other one molo type wala i did not receive any questions because a lot of uh, people are typing now one second i can also read the chat out 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 that how to understand that a player reach to his or her peak peak maybe peak peak performance Pardon, actually one more time. Uh, how to understand that a player reach his or her peak performance hmm. uh, this is asked by one ian mandal ian mandal because uh, kaise pata chalega ki ek, ek player ka peak performance mein hai uske bare mein aap thoda actually uh... designing a program itself it's a very difficult and uh, 
पता करना अगर प्लेयर अगर मतलब पीक परफॉर्मेंस में आया कि या नहीं बोल के पता करना भी इट्स अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट वेर एज वेन कंपेयर टू दी एंड देर इज नो स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड मेजर्स ऑल्सो सपोज इफ यू आर ट्रेनिंग यूर ट्रेनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड वट वट वी यूज टू डू इज फाइव सेकेंड्स वर्कआउट फाइव सेकेंड्स वर्कआउट टेन सेकेंड्स वर्कआउट सो within 5 seconds uh, one of uh, one of my, my student okay he used to kick more than 23 kicks 5 seconds and 23 kicks see and we we have to compare we have to compare suppose agar tumhare paas agar koi naya banda aata hai so you have to compare his performance with already trained पर्सन जो जो प्लेयर है उसका साथ उसका परफॉर्मेंस क्या है हाँ भाई ये ये फाइव सेकेंड्स में ये कितने किक्स मार रहे हैं ये कितने किक्स मार रहे ठीक है दैट दैट वे वी कैन वी कैन मैनेज बट वेर एज पीकिंग एंड वन थिंग वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू यू कैनॉट टेल दैट एनी बडी प्रोग्राम इज हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम एंड यू कैनॉट डिसाइड दैट एनी बडीज प्रोग्राम इज रॉन्ग because even a olympic gold medalist also sometimes uh, he may he may win the final match by luck also so, sometimes and sometimes uh, the top class players they may lose the matches even in the preliminary matches because of the some problems so and we can, we cannot find we cannot tell that uh, the training program is 100% uh, correct or 100% wrong and finding a peak uh, it is a very uh, uh, it's a very good question Uh, so im- improvement of the physiological tests like uh, vivo to max and all you you have to find agar player ka agar vivo to max agar improve ho raha hai so then okay we, we can find that his uh, performance is improving his fitness levels are improving and you, you always you must have a, uh, a record of the previous players uh, of the top class players uh, and you have to compare uh, the statistics every year and even the statistics also it will not be it will not be permanent always it varies it changes thank you uh vital sir and uh, one more question uh if the uh, if uh, if a club have to handle three different type of categories of players maybe may, may in each category so what will be the training yes. schedule likewise hello sir hello if a club have three categories of age categories of players then what will be the uh, training schedule means uh, for each category it will be same or it will be different yeah, that's what i'm telling training must be individual and aap log ek gadhe ko aur gode ko dono ko hai na ek hi ek hi training plan nahi de sakta so there should be a different a different training plan because uh, the level of the experience the level of the physical qualities of the player it takes a major role so if there are three category and at the same time three categories you have to, to sub divide the three categories and their level of experience and their level of physical training so it takes a major role so same question was asked by thomas setty from nco guwahati is the long term training program is same to all age group if a student comes under an age of 16 then what will be the different it's a question by thomas setty can you hear sir hello yeah yeah, yeah 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 is the long term pro- uh, uh, training program thomas is same uh, to- Okay, yeah, that's what I'm telling. You have to you have to design such a program that so according to the uh, level of the physical qualities, you have to you have to make difference in training program. Next, uh, what is mesocycle and microcycle training? It's a question by oh. Ajay Singh. What is mesocycle and microcycle cycle training? It's a question uh. from Ajay Singh. so mesocycle microcycle it's a part of the training uh, training program as a microcycle is a, uh, it's a long long training program in microcycle also suppose it, if it is a yearly plan yearly plan and uh, there should be two macros also there two macro tra- training mesocycle it consists of around three months of a period and microcycle it is a small uh, uh, micro uh, small uh, small unit of the training session 
That's all. And one more question. It will be the last. Salim M. Sheikh, he is asking, what is the minimum time of practice for junior level players as he has to balance education and game? What is the minimum time of practice for junior level player? Min as minimum time for uh, daily, daily training or, uh, or it's for uh, long term? Uh, it's a long term. Okay. Okay, okay. If it is a uh, uh, minimum time, time there is no minimum time limit. I, I don't think so. There is a okay. Uh, daily half an hour, and I do daily one hour. Karna bolge. So, as per the schedule of the uh, trainees school schedule, we have to design the time. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I think minimum age, not time. I think uh, she's asking about minimum age. Uh, he's a student. The trainee is a student. Well, he okay, to balance if, it is, both the if it is an education. age factor, and early we can start at the age of four to five years, we can start the training. Because in gymnastics, uh, uh, the moments, okay, we, uh, in gymnastics, okay, I'll take the example of gymnastics. Uh, they used to start a training at the age of three years. So that because uh, at the days, uh, especially the flexibility, okay, if uh, time is going if if time is uh, taking late uh, so automatically students they will lose the flexibility if at all if you wanted to improve the flexibility at the age of three years they used to start the training so the same way flexibility it is uh, one of the major factor Fix flexibility is one of the major physical quality for taekwondo trainees so we can start the uh, training, uh, training at the age of uh, four or five years no problem so one more last question. It's a question from Shibin Balan. What is the uh, difference between tactical and technical training? Tactical and technical training. This is the last question from Shibin Balan. Please explain again, tactical and technical training. What is the difference between tactical and technical training? So technique is uh, suppose we, we can technical training technical training is nothing but uh, uh, kicking uh, practice dolyo chagi dvichagi dihurgi these all are called as a techniques usually usually people what they what they think is technique are is technique both acha hai so in general is ka dimag bahut acha hai in in general but in sports technology technique means the execution of a proper uh, bodily movement in a proper direction it is called a technique so how to perform the chagi? So the knee inside, knee lifting, knee high action, foot foot turning, pivotion of the foot and hip inside, and then execution of the kick, and then follow through of the kick. Follow through of the kick means uh, after executing the kick. Uh, so how you uh, you are going to prepare for the next moment? So this is called a technique. So tactic means application of the technique in the competition in a particular point of time to acquire the points and to take the advantage that is called tactics application of the technique application of the technique in particular point of time to get the advantage in competition that is tactics so simply we can tell tactically is the art of combat pardon so simply we can explain that tactical means the art of combat okay thank you vital sir Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sir, for your kind uh, on the behalf of all participants and the family of Sai Taekwondo fraternity for spending your valuable time and experience in the form of presentation with us. Thank you, sir. Uh, before thank leaving, you. once again, uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for giving me this uh, this opportunity, uh, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Balu, and uh, thank you, Mr. Gautam, sir, and uh, all the uh, family members of Sports of India. Thank you very much.